I like that woodpecker. I never liked that freaking woodpecker. Hey, what's up, you guys? Filmfan0599 here again, and today we're going to review Woody Woodpecker. So, Woody Woodpecker stars Timothy Ondensen, and what this film is basically about. It's about, you know, this business tycoon, and he wants to build a nice, big, beautiful home in, like, the wilderness and whatever, and Woody Woodpecker is basically like, that's not going to happen, so he tries to put a stop to it. So, what did I think of Woody Woodpecker? Now, going into it, I literally... Had no expectations for it, literally none at all, because it, it didn't look good, like, at all. But I figured if I'm going to watch this movie, I'm not going to do it alone. I'm going to drag someone along with me. I ended up dragging my poor best friend, 22 Tiger Dude, to literally, aka Tony, to literally watch this with me. And we were both in insuffering pain, because this movie is god-awful. This movie is terrible. Did I expect, did I expect anything less, honestly? Did I really expect this to be good? No, but you never know, honestly. You never know with movies like these. You never know, you know. It could end up being good, you know. But nope, nope, it's terrible. It's, it's awful. It's really, really bad. <sighs> but I do have some positives with it. I do, I gotta be fair. I do have some positives with it. My positives are, first being, Timothy Omenson. He's, like, literally the only disable actor in this entire film. Like, he's not, like, like great or anything. It's not, like, the greatest performance I've ever seen or anything. But, if anybody in this movie, it's definitely the greatest performance. Honestly, like, he's the only one that's at least trying to give a performance. Like, he really is. He's, like, the only one that's at least trying to give a performance. And although it's not, like, the greatest or anything, it's at least passable. And at least was somewhat getting me through the movie, at least. I, I, at least. <laughs> so, yeah. And lastly, there were some moments that I did think were funny. They were mostly unintentionally funny. Like, there's one moment in this movie where someone gets, like, smacked across the face with a broom. And it's, like, one of the funniest things I think I've ever seen in my life. Like, the way that this was executed was hilarious. Like, it's mostly unintentional stuff that are hilarious in this movie. The actual comedy, however... Mm -hmm. But we'll get into that a little bit later on. So yeah, th those are really the only positives I could have with this movie, to be completely honest. Everything else is god-awful, and I'll get into it right now with the negatives. And the negatives are, first being, the rest of the acting. The rest of the acting is terrible in this movie. Everyone is awful. Everyone acts so over-the-top, so just... It's so god-awful, it really is. Like, it's so over-the-top, the acting in this movie. Like, the woman who plays, um, Timothy Umpson's, um, fiancé is terrible. The, the guys that play the bird po uh, poachers are terrible, too. The kids are terrible. Just, everyone besides Timothy Umpson is terrible in this movie. Like, oh my god. The guy who does the voice for Woody Woodpecker. Now, like I said in the intro, I never liked Woody Woodpecker. I thought he was always an annoying character. He, he really honestly was. He was just... An annoying, obnoxious character. And he's exactly that in this movie. An annoying, obnoxious character. I could not stand a second. Every time he was on screen, I just wanted someone to just... Just... To kill the thing, honestly. Like, I, I was just so annoyed with him. Like, I'm like, go away. Please. Like, he was awful. And the guy that does the voice acting... Like, I'll give him props for trying to at least capture the magic of the original... Like, voice and whatever, but still terrible. It's still awful. It's still annoying as hell. It really is. I could not stand a second of him in this movie. The comedy is terrible. It's typical, generic, kid humor. It's exactly what it is, and it's awful. Seriously, the humor just falls flat completely in this movie. Like I said, there's some un unintentionally hilarious moments in this film, but other than that... The comedy is really bad with this movie. It is so poorly written that it's just unbearable. It really is. And the movie is predictable as hell. Literally, you can even ask Tony. I literally called 
like, I said that I know exactly where this movie is going. Within, like, the first five minutes of it, I was like, I know exactly where this movie is heading. And it went exactly what I predicted. I was like, good job, movie. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. And it follows every kid movie cliche in the book. I swear of it. It really does. And it's so terrible. It's so predictable. It's so cliche. Like, oh, it's so terrible. And, and it's so forced, too. Like, there are some really, really forced, like, sweet moments. And moments you're supposed to care. And they're really forced and not really genuine at all. And I just don't care. Because I don't care about the characters. And I don't care about the relationship. So I just don't care tale. The writing is absolutely terrible with this movie. It's so poorly written. The screenplay is absolutely god-awful with this movie. Like, it's really terrible, the screenplay with this movie. It really is. Like, some really awful writing, honestly. Like, a lot of the dialogue that is said in this movie is really awful. The directing, wow, is the directing just awful with this movie. It is so poorly shot. It is so poorly edited. Like they do these like uh, YouTube type zoom in things. It's weird. And just it's so bad. Like the editing is so terrible with this movie. The cinematography isn't even that good with this film. Like it is so terrible the directing with this movie. It's probably I know it's only the, this is only the 10th movie I've seen from this year, but so far, it probably has the worst directing I think I've seen all year, honestly. Like, it is so bad, the directing with this film. It is so poorly directed, so poorly shot, so poorly edited. The cinematography is not even that good. So yeah, the directing is so bad with this movie. And the movie is so boring. Oh my god, the movie is so boring. It is an, it is an hour and 31 minutes. Yet, it felt like two and a half hours. Like, it just wouldn't end. It really would. Just this movie would not end. Like, I'm like, please just end already. Just end my suffering. Please end my suffering with this film. It is so bad. And it just wouldn't. It just kept going on and on and on and on. And when it was finally over, I was like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Like, seriously. <sighs> Woody Wetpecker it's awful. I mean, what else did you expect? Be for real with me for a second. What else did you expect? Honestly, this movie is really terrible. I really couldn't stand this film. It was it was just, for the most part, it was really unbearable to watch. Honestly, it really was. I couldn't stand this movie. So aside from my official grade on Woody Woodpecker, and my official grade on Woody Woodpecker is a D. It's awful. It's such a terrible film. And I couldn't stand watching it. It has horrible acting, horrible comedy. Um, it's really predictable and really cliche. It, it's just, it's all around terrible, honestly. It really is. It's a god-awful film. And why do I do this to you, Tony? Why do I do this to you? So yeah, this movie, it's awful. Woody Woodpecker gets a D. So, if you somehow have seen this movie, what did you think of it? Leave in the comment section below. And I'm Plum Fan 0559. And we will see you all later. Peace.